Hey guys, what you been doing? Uh, reading. reading. Raul Roswell lies in UFOs. Isn't that, um, where the spaceship crashed? Yeah. Oh yeah, that story's been disproved like a thousand different ways. What library had all these books on all that garbage? Well, I didn't have to go to the library. These are all the books I had on the bus. Honey, what name are we looking for again? Kerner. Who's Kerner? I don't know yet. If you guys are into science fiction, there's some great new paperbacks out. Do you know who first reported the UFO crash? The U.S. Air Force. Really? Walter Howe, the information officer for the 509th Bombardment Group in Roswell, recalls getting a call from Colonel William Blanchard at the headquarters on the morning of July 7, 1947. Blanchard told him to put out a press release saying that they had recovered the wreckage of a flying saucer. They really said that? Grandpa Will heard it on the radio when he was 12 years old. He told me how everybody was totally freaked out. And later that same day, at a press conference in Fort Worth, Texas, they said it was a weather balloon. Oh, come on, Jack. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Oh, come on, Carrie. What's harder to believe? That they made a mistake or that they actually found a UFO? I don't know, Jack. Some people who were there saw some really strange things. Like this guy, an undertaker, Glenn Dennis. He says that after the crash, the Air Force called him and asked him for miniature caskets. And the nurse from the hospital where they supposedly took the aliens even drew in pictures of their bodies. They say that some were still alive. Mom, what's happened to you? You can't be buying into all this. I find it interesting. Kerner. Where? Right here. Sergeant Matthew Kerner at the press conference denying UFO report. So he was there. Wait, do we know him? No, but we know his kids back in Andrew. Andrew? Your drifter friend? Mom, we gotta go back and talk to him. I'm not sure who's more nuts, you or him. Well, I don't think he's nuts. I just think he needs someone to believe him. About what? about what happened to him when he was a kid in Roswell. <laughs>